guys, so this is video number 5 from our May VC challenge which is us making a video every single day in May and I thought I would just go and throw myself in the deep end and make a pretty personal video on my health journey. So before I get into this video I just want to put a little disclaimer or trigger warning out there because I think that some of what I say and some of the like, images that I'm going to share with you guys might be upsetting or potentially triggering to some people that um, are going through their own health journeys. But if you're here to learn about my health journey, then I guess I'll just start with um, me as a child. I was very healthy, I was active, um, I did dance from a young age up until high school. Uh, and I also did soccer in high school, so I was quite active and healthy. When I was 16 to 17, um, I went through like a bit of a traumatic experience. I won't delve into it because there's other people involved and I want to kind of keep their privacy. And it was quite an ordeal, which, yeah, I took pretty badly. Um, and I guess... From there, I decided to take everything in my life into my own hands that I could. So um, I started to really control what I was eating and controlling how much exercise I did. And that was where I started to form really unhealthy eating habits and an exercise addiction. I started to be quite health conscious. Um, I would read lots of labels. I would... Um, not let myself eat junk food. I started to form really bad eating habits. I was vegetarian at the time, so I already was not eating a few food groups. Um, and then I started to really be concerned with how much fat I was eating. I was limiting my protein and my carbohydrates. So I just wasn't nourishing my body very well. Um, at the same time I started to get into running and I became pretty obsessed with my running so I would run at least 15 kilometers every day um, I was quite strict on myself with that um, I also got exercise when I was walking to and from my job at the time um, and also if I was at home at night sometimes I would do like exercises in my bedroom, even though I had already done this massive run each day. Um, and it just got a bit out of control. I was quite strict with myself. Um, it got to the point where I did lose quite a bit of weight. Um, I didn't have a lot of weight to lose then anyway, because I wasn't ever an overweight child or teenager. But I guess I just started to yeah, limit what I was eating and exercise quite excessively to the point where my body did start to lose quite a lot of weight. I started to get things called chillblains. So when it was really cold, um, the blood wouldn't circulate down to the ends of my fingertips or the ends of my toes. And so I would get little blister-like things that were really sore. I got amenorrhea, so I lost my period, which I ended up losing for quite a few years. I was tired all the time, I had sore stomachs all the time, I couldn't sleep because my body was just continuously like running off nothing and yeah I went through quite a rough time. I think I also um, started to really kind of concern my friends and family. I was quite antisocial um, when it came to eating like if we were going to the restaurants or um, like family dinner parties and that sort of thing I would try and get out of it and try and make excuses as much as I could. That went on for a couple of years and it came to the point when I was in my 20s that I had lost such a considerable amount of weight that my parents and my sister intervened and we went to the doctors to just kind of discuss my weight, my exercise and try to get some healthier practices in place. The doctor gave me a little contract which I signed in front of her and my family members to say that 
I was really going to make an effort to eat more and to not exercise as much and to get to a weight they were all happy with um, within a certain couple of months. Otherwise, they were probably going to take matters into their own hand. I signed this contract saying that I would do this and I didn't really stick to it. A little while after that, I went overseas to Japan. I kind of lost a little bit more weight while I was over there, which was terrible and I feel really bad because at the time I was traveling with my sister and we had quite a lot of arguments where she would get very upset because she knew that I wasn't looking after myself and she was quite stressed out about how underweight I was and so I got back from Japan just before my 21st birthday and I had lost some more weight and on my 21st birthday I was at my lowest weight which was under 40 kilos which is really pretty terrible for someone that is my height um, definitely not very natural um, and my body was struggling just after my 21st birthday I started my next uni degree which was um, nutrition and exercise science which I think now when I look back on it was a godsend because I started to really understand how important our bodies are and how we really need to fuel them properly in order for them to be our friend really. Um, so I started to try and get healthier eating practices in place. Um, I became less excessive with the exercise, I was a bit more lax with that. and then. Not long after that, I went on a trip, another trip to Japan, which is where I got into the raw foods. So you can hear all about that in my vegan story, which is on our channel. But I started to get into the raw foods then, um, and that really changed, changed my life a lot. So I started to get a better relationship with food. I was actually excited about food, I was excited to make recipes and eat them, my mood changed, my whole outlook on life changed, I got my period back again, yeah and I was just a completely different person and I'm very grateful for finding that book but also yeah to be here now to kind of tell everyone about my health journey. So that is obviously just a very brief rundown about my health journey. I didn't really want to get into all the nitty gritty bits because I don't want to upset people. I want people to know that I'm sharing this story because I want this video to inspire other people that are really wanting to make changes in their life to better their health. I am super grateful that I turned my life around because I am such a different person and I don't know how long I would have gone before my body just gave up on me. This is also where I really got into the raw foods and making raw foods for people and starting my business and really like realizing my passions in life and realizing that my goal in life is to help other people with their diets, with their health and also obviously benefiting the environment and animals at the same time. Thank you for watching another one of our videos and stay tuned if you want to see more from us over this next couple of weeks because we're making a video every day in May. Um, you can follow us on all the other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Snapchat. So yes, keep eating those plants, stay hydrated and love yourself and we'll see you later. Bye.